Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and yes, it's finally time for LEGO Dimensions Free Play! And we're gonna start it off by heading up through the old LEGO Brick Road, and, uh, you know, we're gonna do this a little different than usual, and, uh, this is because there's so much going on in this game, and a lot of it requires extra packs and extra money, and, you know, the game and trophy achievement list was actually designed to be played with only the starter pack. So we're going to go ahead and get the 30 gold bricks and the 30 mini kits required for the trophy achievements so that we can get you guys to your 100% of your trophy achievement list. Now, keep in mind, there's tons of extra mini kits, uh, rule breaker requirements, uh, minifigs in peril, all sorts of things that we can do in our mixed play series that will require extra characters. But we wanted to make sure that everybody out there had the same chance and opportunity that we had to go ahead and complete this and get that platinum trophy or 100%, whichever way you want to look at it. So right off the bat, <laughs> no pun intended, we're going to go ahead and switch to the old Batman himself. And we're going to do a little car ram rottage there. We're plowing into everything and getting a whole bunch of studs. Uh, we got a two times stud multiplier red brick on the dwarf's bounty and if you missed that we actually have a video right before this one in the playlist and uh you guys probably remember you smash and grab a bunch of bricks build them up rip them down with the old grapple hook and then we're going to actually attempt to go out in this far left side of the field here where these three boxes are keep in mind though that there is a cut scene that kicks when you get to a certain spot on the yellow brick road and it actually resets us here and uh speaking of cut scenes we've removed all cut scenes and sped this video up ever so slightly just to kind of help us get through this a little quicker and uh as you might have noticed the toy pad cam is no longer with us either so r.i.p toy pad cam uh we'll return to that if we ever need it in another video for a trophy achievement or maybe some future elements uh in story for the level packs or whatnot but all right three boxes smash them down use wild styles relic scanner to reveal a grapple point then use batman's grapple hook to go ahead and use that bad boy and rip out the mini kit so first of 30 mini kits is now a Obtained. And yes, there's only two shown in this video, and I want to let it be known that you probably saw the note. There's quick links to the video, or to the quick... There are quick links to the mini kits down below in the video description. Alright, third time's a charm. I guess I am playing Lego, so a rule of three will apply to me as well. Okay! We uh, did remove a short little cutscene there, and uh, we're going to continue to do that. And like I said, there are quick links down below that will take you right to the second mini kit of this level and to be completely honest with you I'm not sure how we're gonna do each individual level some levels have a mini kit right at the end of the level which will require us to play them all but as you guys probably know at any point in these levels you can actually hit the start button or go to the pause menu options whichever your button is and uh, you can actually uh, save and quit and it'll give you all the studs you've collected any anything you've collected in that level mini kits minifig in peril rule breaker if you got that too and uh, so yeah now speaking of rule breaker there does not there's no requirement for trophy achievements on the rule breaker the one thing that it will help you with though is that it will actually gain you gold bricks so I'm not saying that you got to get them on all of them but you know you need 30 gold bricks and you might as well uh, get them any way you can so we are just continuing our battle here. If you've missed out on what's going on, uh, we do have a story video that will get you through this really quickly and easily, showing you all of the nooks and crannies of how to beat the actual level. Uh, if you get stuck with the chain, you have to move the character from one side of the toy pad to the other, but it shouldn't uh, hurt you too much. Moving along now. All right, so we've uh, made it through. We're in the next little area here. We, uh, we're on a mission to get some studdage. Basically because uh, we spent all of our money on that red brick stud multiplier. So although we're getting them a little faster, uh, there's still not tons and tons of studs laying around. They're mostly silvers if you look at it, which are the lowest. But uh, we'll take all we can get. And uh, you probably noticed that I used my uh, batarang to go ahead and take out the tree thing there. I knocked the apple down, which turned the tree around. And uh, the flying monkeys came in. We got a few bits we can actually take them down and put together into a saw with. This guy just doesn't give up, does he? Persistent little monkey. All right, we took him down. Now we build up the saw, and we're gonna get our. 
on, but we gotta switch to Gandalf and use his magic in order to do so. Keep in mind, it's not just right and left, you're gonna probably have to press up on the old analog stick there too, in order to get that in the proper place. Once it does, it saws him, he runs off like the wussy he is. Look at that, he made like a tree and he got out of there, right? <laughs> All right, I know, it was terrible. I think I already used that one. My bad. I'll try not to repeat my jokes from here on out. Unless they're good ones, <laughs> right? All right. Uh, yeah, if you're getting tired of my voice and you've already beaten this level and you're just looking for the next mini kit, make sure you click the old quick link down below in the video description. Otherwise, make your way up the path until you get to the old roadblock. Once you get close enough, it actually cues off a little cutscene here. And uh, it's not really a cutscene. It's more of just a cinematic event. And uh, it actually shows us that there's some bits that are being controlled by the old plant there. So we'll knock them out with a Batarang or Gandalf's magic. And uh, once we do that, we'll actually go ahead and use Wild Style on the left or Relic Scanner to reveal a grapple hook that we can rip down and get the remaining pieces that we can build up the old ramp. And then we can get our vroom vroom on. Come on, where's that car at? I couldn't find it, and I didn't want to have to go searching for it, so one end out, take it off the toy pad, and put it back down, and that bad boy will appear, appear right next to you. Look at that. Dude, where's my car? It's right here, man. It's right here. All right, look at that. It's finally mini kit number two. If you click the quick link. What? What did I just say? Click the... Anyways, all right. Welcome either way, however you got here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and as soon as we jump over the bridge using the ramp, we're going to backtrack a little bit and get the first of five statues. The second one can be found just a little further up on the right. And it's kind of the old right, left, right, left theory here. We start off on the... Well, it, yeah, you saw it. Left one's next. And then we got another right one coming up here. And then the final one is actually shown in that scene as it flew over the old... Uh, oh, -e uh, it's right there in front of the drum bridge. So we'll go ahead and get to that here right about now. All right, if you got the one on the left back there, go ahead and advance up the path. And you saw four or five right there. And wait for it. Booyakashow. There's the fifth one giving us the second mini kit. And that's actually the last of the mini kits that we can find in this particular area with the starter pack. Now, keep in mind, each level does have 10 mini kits, but you're going to need characters from extra packs that cost extra monies. So we are probably going to return and do some of those. Depends on what you guys want, how far you guys want to get. Um, you know, there's 480 mini kits, but only 30 are needed for any purpose that we can figure out at this point. If there's some sort of Easter egg or extra reward for getting all 140 of them, then we will certainly guide you to all of them. But again, that's going to require lots and lots of character packs and extra abilities. So. All right, uh, if you guys are going to hang out, we're going to go ahead and finish this level. I'm not sure we'll finish all of these free plays because a lot of these only have like two or three mini kits. Some don't have any, so we're going to have to figure that out. But uh, uh, all right, once we get inside the door, you saw we pulled the drawbridge down by using a vehicle treadmill that we built up from pieces that were on the far left out there. Uh, once we got to cross the drawbridge, we had to use the relic scan and a grapple hook to enable access inside. Quick cutscene gets us right to where we are now. A couple of bad guys wearing old Grand Poobah hats. Anybody remember that from Flintstones? Old Grand Poobah meetings they used to have? Anyways, I think that's what they used to call them. Maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe, right, there was a rapper Grand Poobah too. Maybe, I got, maybe I'm getting my, my memories mixed up. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to go watch some Flintstones when I get done with this and do some homework. But, uh, all right, keep on keeping on up the stairs, and there's going to be this event that happens where a flying monkey comes in and knocks over and burns down the house. That's no good. Where's the fire extinguisher when you need one? Or, I guess, where's the elemental keystone when you need it, right? Could have extinguished our own fire. But, uh, all right, we got to drop down. We got to use a relic scanner, and we got to build up some pieces. There's actually two different sets of pieces that need to be built up in order to complete the left and right side of the acrobatic wall in the back. So there's one. The next one requires the grapple hook from Batman. And we're going to go ahead and spam that button until that meter's full and build up the pieces to complete it. Ooh, look at that. That brick completes the acrobatic wall. All right, now we have the ability to get up top. We'll go ahead and teach both of these baddies the cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha! And uh, now we can see we need Gandalf's magic to go ahead and access the doorway, and that'll take us into the final battle for this particular area. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are having uh, any troubles with any of the levels, you need more specifics on this, we do take it a little bit slower and show you and explain everything along the way in our story videos. So be sure to check the story videos out, uh, you know, or you can figure it out on your own as we're doing the free play, because we pretty much explain everything here, too. But 
Either way, get Gandalf up top and uh, use this magic to open the door, and we'll go ahead and creep on in. We skipped the cutscene. It started to, started to show us there. And uh, all right, the goal here, as you might remember, is that she can use the shift keystone and go through the three different portals there. We need to uh, complete a couple of puzzles and build up cages around each of those portals in order to prevent her from getting out or escaping to another color portal, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start off with Gandalf because he's who we had control of and in the back left side of the room we can see there is uh, some magic that needs to be used and we do that to actually lift up and break some pieces and we can build those up into a battering terminal which then spin that bad boy and it drops a bunch of bricks that can be built up into the first of three of those cages now look at that we got the rule breaker for that as well you know i i should probably go back and label that i, I didn't mention it in the beginning but i'll probably go back and add it to the uh, menu if i if i didn't remind me for the next one because uh, the rule breaker requirements probably pretty handy to know especially if you're trying to get the 30 gold bricks so all right, smash the, or use the grapple on the right, build up the bricks that were on the ground and build up the next cage. Oh, but wait, we gotta get the monkey out first. And how do you suppose we do that? Well, he's up in the air. We can go ahead and use a Batarang or Gandalf's magic to go ahead and knock him down and reveal the bricks that we need. He actually gets up. He tries to put up a fight, too, but uh, we teach him the old cha-cha as well here in a second. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, I haven't mentioned it yet. Look outside the window in the back. How scary is that? I mean, that's ridiculous. That's a lot of flying monkeys, right? All right. On the left-hand side, you probably noticed that there is a little bit of an acrobatic circle. We'll go ahead and use Wild Style to double jump up and spin that bookcase around to reveal. Ooh, look at that. It's some sort of a, uh, what do they call those things? Anyway, smash it. That's what we call it. A smashable item. We can go ahead and build the bricks up to complete the third cage. Go ahead and attack the old Wicked Witch. She'll try to escape to her three different ways. And look at that. Blemo. We got her. She gets all flustered. She freaks out. Ends up dropping down onto the middle where the keystone is and uh, smashes it into some pieces we're gonna rebuild those into it looks like a water cannon it's a giant super soaker so go ahead and hit her soak her down and she melts into nothing and as a result we actually complete the first of the free play we get a handful of studs and uh oh to the yeah what do you guys think uh, pretty easy stuff with all the mini kits being scattered so easily like they are uh it's hopefully going to be a quick and easy journey to that 30 mini kits if you guys have any questions about the mix play or extra character pack or anything like that uh, be sure to let us know down below in the comments uh, yeah we got too many kits I, I you know we'll never know what these build up unless we come back with the extra characters so it'll be uh, interesting to see how many we can find I know we can get a couple extras with old wicked witch but we'll have to wait and see oh we know what this screen means that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for Lego Dimensions Level 1 Follow the Lego Brick Road Free Play! And I know it's definitely a little bit different. Trust us, we feel weird about only getting two mini kits as well. Hopefully you guys are using the quick links. That'll save you guys a tremendous amount of time. And, um, you know, if you guys want to, like I said, if you guys want to see the extra stuff, we probably will come back and get some of them. But, you know, we need your feedback. And you can do that by heading over to our social pages, you know, like uh, old Facebook, Twitter, Comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch. Uh, we haven't been doing a lot of live streams because uh, you guys haven't really been requesting them. And the last few times we did them, we didn't have a huge turnout. So if you guys want to see us do some more live streaming, maybe playing LEGO Dimensions, maybe we'll mix play on the stream. I, we'll have to figure all this out. But help us out. You guys help determine what the future of these videos go. And um, oh, to the yeah. As for me, that's going to do it for now. Let's get to some more free play. And as always, until next time. Uh, 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 that's all, folks. Bloop.